All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, this is your girl, Miss Bev, with yet another video. Just jumping in to say good morning to everyone. Um, yesterday, we, I'm here at my desk, and um, just quickly, 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 quickly saying, I hope everyone stay safe, stay blessed, and just take it one day at a time. Not take it two or three, one day at a time. <laughs> just boy, the way things are going, you know. Just enjoy the moments as they come. And um, that is it. Um, yesterday, as I shared with you guys, we worked on equivalent fractions. And um, some of the kids struggle with the making a whole number into a fraction. So you have to keep, I did a chart for them, um, so that, let's see if I can pick it up from here. Bring it up some more. All right, guys, let's see. How does a whole number become a fraction? And I tell them that you put the whole number over one because the one as a denominator doesn't change the, you can't see the rest of it. <laughs> one as a denominator doesn't change the value because a lot of them are putting, they have four whole pizzas, but they're putting it over four. And I'm showing them when you reduce it, you're only going to get one pizza. So in order to keep the value, in order to keep the whole number as a whole number, put it over one. So we'll practice some of that and um, we we'll practiced some of that yesterday and for the most part, like 90% of them got it. We did quite a few examples and then they had to work on their own. Today, <laughs> I'm looking at that Michelle and my mobile market lady just sent me a, a text. Um, today we are going to work with multiplication and division. Um, and so for those of you from the old school, what I always did to help my kids to be more successful. In the event, a lot of times when they go to take their exams, nobody's asking them to show them how the division is done. So I always show them how we did it, the, sh the short division which you would um, 654 divide by five. You say five into six, you're not carrying down and subtracting, you're doing it mentally. So five into six, when only one group of five, put it over to six, take the one, bring it to the next digit. And then you say five into 15 is three, and then five into zero is zero. And so we're not doing down the long, you know we're just doing it mentally and keep moving so i'm going to show it to them that way and i'm going to show them the long way because i am there's no curriculum per se i am teaching them from my experiences i have books and it gives you what to teach and it gives you examples of work for them to do but i also want to give them options so today we're going to be looking at divisions and to help them with the three digit multiplication. How oh, for me, when we multiply, um, I always write the amounts. If I said six times three is 18, I write the 18 on the side. So I show them how you can see it. Now you're going to take the right digit and you're going to put it where it needs to go in, in the one's place, then bring the other one over to the next place. And don't forget to add it when you multiply. So all of my little things that step by step I need to build, give them those building blocks so that when we start doing the harder stuff, I am not going, um, I think I'm not going past seventh or eighth grade. I think seventh or eighth grade. I'm not sure I get that far. I am teaching foundational stuff. So, even though some kids might come and say, oh, I can do that part already. It's okay because this that you're learning is connected to some bigger parts. 
so um it's quite interesting and i so far i'm enjoying this year and i am just eternally thankful i said i went home i don't know what happened i think i need a jacket now but just know that when i went to jamaica all of them jackets were given away <laughs> no light jackets i should have kept the light jackets but i'm going to order one today so i'll get it maybe by tomorrow um about the weekend because in the morning so when you come outside it's very cool um i like cool weather i like the change i like you know you come from the heat then it gets a little cooler then when it gets cold i don't mind it i just don't like the snow so i know a lot of people say oh we can't take the cold no more i'll deal with the cold it's just if it gets icy that it bothers me so i give thanks for everything for every opportunity i give him thanks for the ability to still be able to move around and get things done and and just enjoying it you know so that's the first bell so i'm hoping the same for you guys that you are enjoying where you are <laughs> now it's dark get this morning there's no sun this morning is very cloud covered but i give thanks guys and i'm here i brought in some fruit snacks for them okay, even though they're young adults i um it's just like when i was teaching my sixth grade students you'd be surprised to know that they come in and they're looking like they're not looking but when you offer that they're so thankful especially my last group which is my seventh period group you know by the end of the day they're out of energy you know so when they come in and i give them a piece of gum they're so happy you know by the um the case sheriff gets me the case a gum so when i come i just tell a student could you give everybody two pieces <laughs> and they're just grateful they're just grateful i'm sorry we get these so these are Wrigley's. These are double mint Wrigley's double mint gum. Sugar free. So you're not eating a lot of sugar. And um, I like Wrigley's gum forever. And I just give them, I said, could you pass out and give them two? So this one, this is new this morning. I took a couple pieces out. And um, so when they come, you know, so they might be grown people, but you know they still like to be cared about and i don't mind doing it i i i see how it encourages them and so i'll just keep on doing it so take care of yourselves my people thank you for sharing these moments with me make it a great day by choice Mwah.